Okay, so on the right I have a good focus motor. As you can see, this thing slides up and down. This is the linear motor that slides up and down. You see, as I pull it up, pull it up, it slides down, right? And this one's, this is the bad one that rattles, make all kinds of noise and doesn't focus properly. When you pull it up, it does slide down. But here's the difference. You see this glue right here? This glue part right, right here, this glue here, and this glue here that keep the mount, the lens, focus lens to the electromagnetic coil. Okay, now look on this side. This is separated. The glue has separated from this. So this is why you see the movement, moving back and forth like this, you see that? Whereas on here, you can't even insert, you can't even insert that in. There's gap here, of course, but you can't even insert between on this flat black piece right here because the, you have the glue here and the glue here. This one, the glue has separated, that's why you have this gap now. Okay, rather than do it with a, uh, a little uh, um, dab using a spudger, I decided to use this little injector and it's a lot more precise. Okay, with this injector, what you want to do is put a little dab in the left column there of that little square bracket. There's a column where the old glue is. You just put it over top of it. And then you put it on the right column, which you'll see me doing here. And this is a two-part epoxy. It takes about five minutes to set. Mix both parts inside the syringe and then mix it equally. Then push the plunger down and then put the dab, just like I'm doing right now, on the right side. And then for good measure, put a dab between the edge there, which you can see I'm starting to do from the right to the left. And then to make sure that the coil, the copper coil, does not bind with the electromagnet, put a little piece of cardboard thinner than a credit card in between the coil, the copper coil, and the magnet. And that way it ensures that the coil is adhering tightly to that bracket that holds a focusing lens. Um, and give it about five minutes to completely set on that. And the slot, these slots have to slot in in place. Make sure this is above the slot. Actually, I think this. Okay, the slots in place. Okay, like this ring, that's the line up. line up right there. Okay, that's three on the inside. And now you gotta put this cover over top of it. There's only one way this thing goes in. So make sure it lines up. Only one. Okay, now that you're done, take the board, the 
board. Make sure this thing is flipped up. You see the controller board. Make sure this little tab is flipped up. Okay. So it's now that seat's flipped up. Take the PCB flex and slide it in. Slide it. See it come to stop. Then simply flip this latch down. Okay, so that's good for that side. The little one, this one, bring it up. This one does not have a latch. You just simply slide it in. Okay, once it latches up, you slide it, simply slide it in, pop it down. Pop the latch. Slatch it down. Simply snap this in place. Okay. We do that like the last time, Joe. camera yep no more and it's focusing and there's no more rattle as it's focusing it's focusing as you see, it's focusing and it's not rattling anymore. Okay.